Yo, what's good with y'all? Today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a shirt command and stuff. It's gonna be pretty simple. You type colon shirt and then the ID and then like you know it uh, deletes the current shirt you're wearing and then changes it to whatever ID you put it in stuff like that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. It's really simple. Let's head on over to. Oh, also I want to say thank you guys for 810 subscribers. We hit 800 subscribers like two days ago, but now we're 810. Like y'all just doing it for real. I appreciate it. Um, so let's head on over to server script service and insert a script. Call this, I guess, shirt script. Oh, sorry, not a space. All right, and then we're going to make a variable. Delete print hello world, of course. We need to do local is is equal to game. Also, my fault. My voice sound weird. Like I ain't been up that long. But anyway, colon get service insert. Sorry, insert service. All right. And then you're gonna do game dot players dot player added colon connect function in parentheses put plr then enter and then you're gonna do local I'm sorry not local you're gonna do player dot chatted colon connect function in parentheses put msg which is short for the message the player is sending then enter and then now you're gonna make a variable the command variable so local command is equal to string dot sub message uh one uh, six yeah six since yeah one six okay and then we can do if command is equal to shirt right then we want to get the shirt id so local shirt id is pretty much whatever the player says after they say the command and not including the space obviously <clears throat> and then we are going to do string dot sub just like up there but a little differently we're gonna do message then uh, I want to say eight sorry not seven eight so yeah we're gonna count eight and everything after that then we're gonna make another variable the character variable so local character is equal to game dot workspace find first child player dot name I need to stop typing so fast, that's the problem. Player dot name, right? Now we'll skip two lines. Then we're gonna do if character find first child, we're gonna see if they already have a shirt. And if they do have a shirt, we're going to destroy said shirt. Character dot shirt destroy. This was not out of foot by the way. Then you're gonna come outside of the uh if statement and press enter twice. Then we're gonna we're gonna get the asset. So you can do local assets is equal to is or insert service load asset then you would put the shirt id right shirt id then you're going to say asset dot shirt dot parent is equal to character and boom just like that you are done it's that simple so we can go ahead and go test this i already have an id it should still be uh like i should still be able to paste it this is a random idea I found, but okay. So y'all yeah, see, I'll see the current shirt I'm wearing right now. So if I do colon shirt and ID, boom, there you go. It changed my shirt to a different shirt, right? Yeah. Hope, hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Link to join my Roblox group in district. Links to join my Roblox group in district can be found in the description. And appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see you guys.